Mm. What's the story? Story is the Sandman's twenty year Tawny. Sandman's twenty year Tawny. Okay, looks at something like uh, mm -hmm. that. How about the bottle? Mm -hmm. Kind of rose colored, isn't it? It's very strange. When you poured it at first, I was kind right of right there. Wondering if <laughs> right there. Yeah, just wondering because it's very. It is very different in color. It looks like a rose. Um, well, it's just because of the amount of time in the barrel that it's aged. It's sort of lost its color. Oh, okay. Because normally we would have expected something that was a bit more tawny. <laughs> what do you mean, tawny? Brownish and whatnot. Not so ruby like this one is. Well, that's got a little brown hue to it. I mean, it's I guess. Really it looks very strange, though. Especially on the camera. Wow, that looks weird. It looks much more red than what it really is. And, I mean, if Folks, I'm off camera, this is not as pinky as it appears. Yeah, it isn't. I mean, but, um, really here it looks more caramel colored and so It looks right. very red on the, on, the, on the film, but it's not. It's very it's, strange, maybe because it's... It's really not that red. Anyway, so, Port, it's kind of that time of year. When it's... it's frio. Cold outside. Outside, yeah. So we decided we would... Um, in the evening with a bit of a port. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't know how good we're going to be able to... Mm -hmm. It's a plate of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we put a little bit of uh, roasted almonds with some salt, a uh -huh. bit of salami, which is really not necessary, and some manchego cheese because mm -hmm. I didn't have any... I wanted to really use Gruyere or uh, some sort of other like Swiss-style mm -hmm. cheese. And like instead that. of currants, um, which we would normally use, we have raisins. Raisins, yeah. In a, a pinch, that'll do. You know. Um, you know, I mean, I'd rather have currants, but mm -hmm. I don't have any. So, and that's pretty much it. And we just, we have that with the right. plate. Right. So then um, what you do is you take uh, some in your hand or whatever, um, a piece of the manchego. And mm -hmm. on top of it, you put, um, if you had some currant, you would use that. Otherwise, um, raisin and then one of these toasted almonds. Those three things. Put them all in your mouth at the same time. Chew it up a bit before you swallow um, to back a bit of this. It's a magical experience. Don't you think? Well, it's... I think know. it's magical. Anyway. It is tasty. <laughs> it is tasty. Okay, so let's um talk about the one and uh, what we're getting from it, though. Um, all kinds of gorgeous legs. Fellas who are into... Great legs. This um, You've been drinking bottle much, certainly yeah. um, has it. What? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with being a little sassy. Mm. Right. Anyway, um, Peter, take your glass. What do you got in the nose? Um. <laughs> you know, the color now is starting to remind me of things like um, Grand Meunier. Isn't it? Ah, oh, yeah, it is very. It, it kind of looks like Grand Gram Marnier. Um, it kind of looks like Grand Marnier to me. I, really, though, uh, it is not. I mean, it looks so red on the film. Right, right. But that aside, but on the a, nose, on the nose, outside of the color, it seems to me to be very like. Um, if you were to take an orange peel, or like those clementine oranges or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you take that, and then with some um, maple syrup with brown sugar, and you bake it. This is what you would smell, don't you think? Isn't it kind of those three? Okay, some ready pants, but you get in the nose, for heaven's sake. Oh, I, I, that, that's fine. I mean, that's all good. How would you describe it? Uh, I. Hey, if you're gonna knock it, I mean, I'm not gonna knock it. it your own self, then. I'm not knocking it. All right, I, fine. I like so that's it. what we get. What I get in the nose. That's what you get. <laughs> Computer's not disclosing what it gets. Okay, how about you tell us about what you get on the palate, then at least. You know, more candied fruit, a lot less nutty component than I would get, say, in a Graham's 20-year tawny mm -hmm. or a Fonseca 20-year tawny. Um, much more, uh, you don't get much caramel. It's more, it's, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of, you know, what are those candies that you get with the uh, um, Jolly Rancher? Do you ever have like Jolly Rancher, like the the fruit punch Jolly Rancher candy as a kid? That's what it tastes like to me. Oh, so it's like fruit punch Jolly Rancher in a glass, kind of, except not. Um, 
No, I kind of get like a bit of the cough syrupy in the finish that it's a bit, it finishes a bit stringent and really yeah. bright. It does. It does. And it, it is very bright. And it, you don't mm -hmm. get any of the brandy-ish sort of character. No, it's, it's not like it's kind of an unusual alcohol or anything like that. There's no, nothing like that. It's sort of an unusual tawny. Yeah. Like I, it I seems know. more ruby than tawny. But... Except the color. Except for the color, which is weird. Yeah. I'm not sure. It's a very strange one. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. Yeah. But we do enjoy it. It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Right? Sure. I, yeah, I'll drink it. Peter's big lush. <laughs> Just kidding. Drink it up here. All right. So anyway, um, that's our, our take. Uh, a bit of a confused one on this particular Porto. Um, do you have any idea what kind of price range it says? Or? 50 bucks. 50 or some. Some. Yep. There we have it. All right. Mm -hmm. Cheers, me. We'll do we'll do more stuff on port here in the next couple of months, and we'll talk more about like why port's made and like what the vintages mean and the different. We'll go on and on and on about port, but yes. not tonight. No, because I've had enough. <laughs> Peter's gonna go to bed. You're going to bed right now. <laughs>